Alright, and what is up you guys, this is Veffy, and today we're going to talk about something that uh, I've been getting asked a lot, and I think that it's only fair that I give you guys an answer to. Um, we're basically going to have a conversation about um, <laughs> YouTube success and how it works, um, or the best tips that I could give you to having a successful YouTube channel. Um, and I'm going to try my hardest to explain things that haven't been explained or talk about things that haven't been talked about, but in all honesty, I haven't watched one of those videos before, so if I am, you know, too much along the lines of something you've already heard, I apologize in advance. Um, but I am giving you my, uh, my story and my tips, um, and basically, uh, my, I guess, outlook on that. So, with that being said, um, let me start with saying this first thing. Uh, YouTube success does not happen overnight. It doesn't. It doesn't, uh, on average, happen overnight. Most successful YouTubers had to work really hard to get where they are, with the exception of some. Um, one of the things that I've noticed um, about YouTube channels and starting off, the two mistakes that I think I see made the most um, are buying an SD cap um, and using copyrighted music. Everybody's done it like back in the day. Like It's just instinctual to get the cheaper cap card. But um, honestly, if you're going to get a cap card and if it's your passion to record for entertainment, you need to start with HD. You're only wasting your money. Not because people won't sub to you, but you can't gain a really consistent, uh, or the average YouTuber can't gain a really consistent fan base with just an SD cap card. You've got to make the upgrade eventually, which means you've ended up wasting your money. Um, and so I really suggest strongly, if you're gonna, if you're wanting to get into that business, start with an HD PVR or uh, a Black Magic or anything like that. Um, the second thing about the copywriting thing um, is like even for me, like when I first started, I did both of those mistakes, and um, I copyrighted a bunch of stuff. Now the only reason that um, that caused a problem is because my very first channel. Uh, got a copyright strike because of that. A lot of people use copyrighted stuff uh, thinking, you know, that they won't be the one that gets chosen, but it, it happens too much. And once you get that strike, you've got to restart a channel and you just, there's nothing you can do about that. So, I, I mean, I would strongly suggest right off the bat, just looking for music that's copyright free. It doesn't even, you don't have to have someone's permission to post copyright free music, but you do have to have it to make money off of it. So just like, I mean, there's there's just about nowadays, there's about everything. There are so many rappers that do co uh, copyright free music and uh, so many um, rock bands uh, and uh, so many dubstep, well, I mean, dubstep almost always is copyright free. So, I mean, take advantage of that, especially if you're just starting and don't, 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 do that to yourself because if you do get a successful channel you won't be able to do nothing. Um, another thing uh, that I think that when it comes to you YouTube success uh, is important um, is hard work um, and luck. <clears throat> now I know that sounds a little bit crazy but I do think that it's like 90% hard work and 10% luck. And what I mean by that is you definitely have to bust your ass off to even get lucky. So basically, the the thing about the whole luck that I'm trying to say is a lot of YouTubers along the way will work really hard and someone will notice they're working hard and help them out. Um, or maybe, you know, that's not even the case, like I said, which is why I said 10%. But for me, it was that way. So I definitely suggest, you know, working extremely hard and just showing everybody that you are working extremely hard on your YouTube channel and someone will eventually notice. And if nobody's noticing, message people, let people know, hey, you know, I see your YouTube channel is really doing really well and uh, you do shout outs or something like that. Uh, if you could check my channel out, you know, I upload daily and um, it's really good content. And, and you'd be surprised, you know, like the people that would reply to you and respond to you or say, or if they don't reply to you, I mean, you shouldn't even be <clears throat> uh, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Disappointed or upset, you know? Like, what's the worst that could happen? You ask them for help and they do it, that's awesome. Or they don't. I mean, you move on and ask someone else for help. But make sure that you're, you know, showing, if, if you notice a consistent amount of people not replying, make sure that you're showing on your channel that you are busting your ass off. Not like one video a week or, or a video a day, but they're like not that great videos. Like literally awesome videos every day. Just work really hard and that's the best thing I could tell you guys. Um, and I could ramble on about this forever, but this commentary is actually a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be, the gameplay. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was an 8-0 flawless gameplay and I hope these tips really help. Otherwise that, have a wonderful day.